Hey guys, welcome to my review and history of the Casio MA101. Your eyes may not recognize it, but your ears sure will. The Casio MA101 has been used on hundreds of hit records. The number of artists who have used this keyboard reads like a who's who of anyone who's who in the music business. Daft Punk owned eight of them. Rocket Man Elton John plays one. So do the Foo Fighters when live. David Bowie was known to tinkle on one. Tom Hanks and that guy from Big also played one. And so did Alan Rickman. The MA101 features a hotbed of 49 keys. This keyboard's famous for its incredible playing action. Each key feels so sweet when pressed. Mm, yeah. The MA-101 features pulse code modulation, which was developed in collaboration with NASA. This resulted in the MA-101 being the first commercial keyboard to go into space. There are 100 high quality sounds available. 17 harmonica sounds so realistic, Bob Dylan even switched to use the MA-101 in the 80s. 35 sitar is so lush, it almost feels as if you're sat on the banks of the river Ganges. There are some magical synth sounds available, such as fantasy. The high quality sound effects on the MA-101 have been used on feature films such as Terminator 2 and I Spit on Your Grave. As well as a selection of outputs and inputs, the MA-101 can also run on battery power. The MA-101 is highly portable. Playing the 101 is a walk in the park. Take it to the beach. On the plane. It's waterproof. You can even play it on the toilet. With such an amazing selection of features and sounds, where did it all go wrong for the Casio MA101? In the 90s, all school music exams would be taken using a Casio MA101, but the company lost focus of its core audience. It began to diversify into the world of calculators. Its flagship calculator, the FX39, was advertised by Bono and the Edge. Its cooler watch models were advertised by people such as Oasis in England. By the time it returned to its synthesizer and keyboard market, the new kids on the block had taken over. Core, Arturia, Roland, Yamaha, and Teenage Engineering. And the Casio MA101 was resigned to the annals of history. They regularly sell for upwards of 2K on the secondary market. If you ever do get a chance to play an MA101, please take the time just to enjoy that sweet, sweet action. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Sweet. Oh, feels good. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. 